Hello artists, today I wanted to show you how to make a really fun mask. Your mask could be a superhero, an animal, a fancy mask, or any idea that you have. Here are a few ideas for you. Look for an idea that inspires you so you're ready to create your mask in a little bit. The first step is to decide on your idea and then sketch it first. Begin with an oval. We're working these masks to cover just our eyes and the top part of our face. So this oval will fit across our eyes. My idea is to create a mask that looks like a pig. So after I've drawn the oval, I'm adding other details like a pig. Ears, a snout, eyes, nostrils, and then I'm adding color. I decided to make my pig realistic by using pink. You could make your mask be any color you wish it to be because it's your choice. To create our masks, we're going to use a strong paper. Now notice the masks fit across the paper, meaning that the paper is just the right size. And because the paper is just the right size, we're going to make our mask fit the size of the paper. Notice your paper can go up and down and be tall, or you can make it side to side and it won't be as tall. For this project, we want the tall option and then fold it in half. Folding it in half tells us where the middle of the mask is and where we want to put the nose. So now that our paper is tall and folded, we're going to add the oval. So not at the top of your paper, but a little ways down from the top, draw a straight line. And then further underneath that, about a hand width, draw another straight line. On the edge of the paper, in between your straight lines, draw curves like smiles and frowns. And that creates an oval. Be sure to use a pencil, that way if you make a mistake, you can erase. Now that you've got the oval shape, go back and add the details to your mask that will turn it into the thing you wanted it to be. So for my pig, I'm adding the ears, the snout, the nostrils, and so on. But what about the eyes? We want to make sure that this mask, that we can see out of it. Well, because we have the folded part of the paper, if you put two markers right along that middle, and make a mark on the outside of both of those markers, that tells you where to start your eyes. So I'm going to draw a big circle to represent each eye. Once I'm done drawing all the details, I can go back and outline it and add the colors and final designs. Once your mask is completed with color and all the decorations, then it's time to cut it out, just on the outside. But we also need to cut out the eye parts. So you're going to round the paper like this. See, it just looks like the letter U. And I'm rounding it so that the eye is right there in the middle. I open my scissors wide to make a little cut right in the eye space and look that little cut allows my scissors to go inside and then I can cut out the circle for the eye. Let me show you that one more time. I'm going to bend the paper so that it's rounded along the edge of the eye, open my scissors wide to make just a tiny cut and because there's a cut, I can stick my scissors inside and cut out the eye shape. The last thing to do is add a handle to our mask so you can hold it up to your face. You'll need a little bit of liquid glue. Twist open just the orange part to make sure you can get the glue out. Put a little line of glue onto the popsicle stick 
and attach the stick with the glue to the back of your mask. Press on it and wait a long time for it to dry. And ta-da, you've made an amazing mask.